All right, guys, here's an overview of this uh, neat little Samdo speedometer that I've got on a Club Car DS here. You can see it's pretty slim. Um, mounting it took a little bit of work with an oscillator with plastic cutter on it. Uh, but basically, it's got a bunch of different universal nipples here for uh, screwing into surfaces, different types of surfaces. So I put a little grease on all those little ends and then mapped them out where it would fit best on this dash. And you've got to be pretty precise because if you're too far over, you'll hit the steering column. And if you're too far over here, you'll be all over the key. So there is a proper placement for this thing. And uh, a few things you got to shave out of the way to get it that nice and tight right there. But once it's in there, and then you know, let me show you here, a big square has been cut out. There's a couple of extra mounting holes, but the only ones we really used was this one on the outer edge and that one right there with a spacer. And then the wiring harness comes out of it. And what I have, I have a reducer on here that has a constant 12 volt output. And uh, that goes to the red wire which is, uh, you'll see this in the instruction manuals that come with this, that's your constant. Um, two grounds, which are green and green and red. And then a black wire, which I've tapped into the headlight constant 12 volt. So as soon as the uh, key is turned, it turns on the reducer, which uh, makes this wire live, which turns on the speedometer as well. and then it's ready to go. And what I'm about to rig up also is I'm gonna tap into the RPM sensor just for the hell of it. And that is a red wire with a black stripe right there. And then that's gonna to run to the uh, speed sensor on the motor. And we should be able to see an accurate RPM, uh, RPM reading. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's going to come with instructions if you get it from the right place. Pretty thorough compared to the one I had before. So there we go. Red, green, 12 volts, and then the black, the ignition. And uh, the sensor for reading the actual speed, it is right here. It comes already pretty much ready to just plug in right there and run it to your hub, add a magnet to your hub. And then you're all set. So I'll show you here what this will look like fully complete in just a moment. 